Well, here we go. Let's see if my computer's up to this. Um, this is my first real auto go uh, uh, in the Elia 250. We find ourselves sat at lands, and in fact, let us let's rather jump in. I think it'll be a bit quieter then. So we're sat out sat at Lands End, and we're going to go out to the Isles of Scilly. Um, this Elia will be flown hands free. I'm not going to put any inputs in at all. I'm going to let the RG Pilot Autopilot do it. Uh, that's the transition and then the landing as well. Let's talk first then about how we're going to do it. Um, here's the plan. So this would be, you know, in the future, this is when one button flying will be happening. It'll be press the green button to go, Mr. Spoon. So it's just a straight line from Land's End to what's it, St. Mary's, that's it, St. Mary's Airport. Uh, the Isle of Scillies. There used to be helicopters running services out to here. Maybe there still are, I don't know. Somewhere in here, yeah, three. That's the do land start. So what I'm hoping is going to happen when I arm and get us uh, airborne is, or did I arm already and put it in? I did, I armed us and put in Q stabilize. Is when I hit auto, uh, without me doing anything, it's going to lift off, turn this way, maybe. Maybe that ground falling away, if I've fouled up with that, will work. There's the waypoints there. Uh, I'll turn this way and, and fly off there. Uh, so all it'll leave me to do is cut the video, because it'll work so beautifully. Um, that it'll cut the video and uh, and we'll be home in time for tier medals. Right, here we go then. Eyes down for full house. There's, no point. There's one, one to go. Lands in Tower, hello, this is, who are we? We're a uh, yeah, Leo 250 from Dodgy Airways, and we're getting airborne from the helipad for St. Mary's. Onward, here we go, so let's just hit auto and see what happens. So it's powering up. You can't see my hands, but my hands are doing nothing. I'm touching nothing, where's it gonna go? Uh-oh. Let's go inside. Oh no, we're going to get up to 100 meters, 33, 34, 38. Oh no, 50 meters for the takeoff. There's 50 meters. I can hear that rear motor spooling up. There, are, oh my word. Dear autopilot, please don't overspeed the rear motor. See that, look, that's overspeeding. So something needs to change there. That could end badly. Now, what's it going to do? 55, no, 105 knots is, uh, ooh, that's the speed I want to do. So we've just transitioned. Let's have a look at the messages here. Um, messages. Yeah, you care for right. Okay. So there we go. Right. We're off to see the wizard. So what happened there? We climbed up to 50 meters before starting navigation. So that's put us uh, just a little bit north of track. Um, so it's not groovy. I suppose something else would happen in that regard. 52 meters a second, that's 104 knots. Let's see what this tells me. Yeah, 104, there's 104 knots on there. Uh, there's a lighthouse over there. And off we go. So I guess I will speed up this bit and we'll join uh, 100 meters. Yep, there's 100 meters solid on there. What's it showing on that? That must be 1,100 feet. So that's 100 meters plus whatever the airfield was at, I suppose. So let's go like this. Watch as whiz past. So to recap, it's a completely autonomous takeoff, autonomous transition, and off we go to the Isles of Scilly. If you want to simulate large um, EV tolls for the purpose of whatever purpose you have, this has to be the easiest way to do it now. Just going to cost you a copy of X-Plane. Everything else I'm using to do this is free. Right, the sped up bit before we get there.
we've just gone past the do land start so the action should begin let's go outside uh, I never remember how to do all these things oh that's a big pitch up you might have noticed somewhere along the way there that um, that the uh, is this one where we could zoom around that the world that yeah look you can see that edge over there that the world the world moved for me the world changed and um, the thing went all over the place and that was at the very time it said no terrain data uh, on mission planner so I don't know something up something up with the sim there um, you probably also noticed I was trying to work out how to use the GPS at about the same time I don't know the Ikeo uh, for St Mary's where we're going otherwise I probably could could have entered it um, but I think I would have left uh, Land's End on that one should I needed to have gone back and set up St Mary's on the primary one it's a pity that you can't fly this in simulation in X-Plane using the Garmin well last time I tried you couldn't or not the Garmin the G1000 whatever the good X-Plane people use so to recap how we're doing this as we run into the islands I am flying, I'm not flying the Elia, uh, my software in the loop ArduPilot simulator is. Now this is using a flight stack that I could use on a real separate lift and thrust aircraft or multiple other types of drones, helicopters, gliders, boats, you, cars, you name it, it can drive it. So. It doesn't know that it's flying X-Plane. It thinks it's flying something in the real world. Um, and the weather inputs it's getting uh, to allow it to, so you'll see it, it, it had the nose, the wind's about 290 at 10. It had the nose off a little bit there as we were coming in um, to, to slightly cross track. In fact, you can see it on the mission planner there. See the red lines pointing off to the right uh, and the track is a little bit off to the left of the yellow line. So red lines where the nose is pointing, so that's to allow for drift. So it's flying in. We've told it to, to expect a landing in the future. That was the two do land start um, command. Uh, that was here, do land start, and that was back, back here. Uh, so I'm hoping, uh, in fact, let's go inside I'm hoping it's going to do something about slowing down in a minute that would be a good idea wouldn't it has it done anything about slowing down let's jump back inside we can see on mission panel it's still 53 let's put this over here so you can see that was much quieter in here hmm oh Oh, maybe we've come in at just the right time. Maybe speed is beginning to decay. To decay, I should say. No, it's not. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Hmm, okay. Oh, here we are. Now I'll remember. E.G. Is that H.M.? Oh, well, I'll have a look again in a second when we're on the ground there. If we get on the ground. Uh, what's the best way to look at this? Why is the speed not... Oh, hang on. Hang on. I thought I detected... No, I didn't. See, the rotors aren't spinning. Is that... No, it's... I'm not losing that yet. Or are we? Or are we? 20, 20. No, we're not, are we? 2030, 2020. No, we're not. Whoa, we're getting very close to where we want to be. Let's jump outside and have a look. Right, there's the airfield. So I'm expecting it to lose speed, that to go, these to start running up. I'm not I'm not spinning them up with the mouse, or am I? <laughs> I don't think I'm spinning them up with the mouse. There they go. So this is the transition. How high is it going to, going to balloon up? Oh, it has. Oh, it has. 100. It's ballooned up to get rid of that speed. 38 meters a second. The all the way in. That's obviously still spinning. Heart in mouth. Oh, we've ballooned up. But I'm sure that's something that can be fixed. Uh, I have quite literally just dropped that many waypoints into here to do this. So we've come up. 
quite a bit. What's that going to mean for? We're going there somewhere, I think. Let's have a look on here. Uh, should be the one in front of the tower. So that must be that one. We should be going to that one there. Oh, now my computer's not very quick and I shouldn't be spinning it around. In fact, it's too too slow for this really. Need way more memory. Oh, it's a nice Piaggio over there. I wonder if it could really get there in real life. Down we come, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls, welcome to St Mary's. This will be a holiday flight in the summer. I didn't time it. I don't know. I'll have to look afterwards. I guess this has been about 20 minutes. I wonder if I could have run a, a timer there. That Ignore that stabilisation. That's my slow computer. I'm sure of it. Oh, yeah. What's it doing? It slowed itself down a bit, then, didn't it? So again, I'm not flying this. No hands on, no controls, or no controller. This obviously is not the most efficient way to um, to land. So you see my waypoint, and it's moving itself around in the wind. The wind being two nine zero at ten. I'm hoping it's going to land on and then uh, disarm itself and everything should stop and as I say we'll be there in time for tier medals. I need an Nvidia graphics card and one bajillion gigabytes of, uh, yeah, the largest card possible with one bajillion gigabytes of RAM, but I don't think I'll get that past the Ministry of Home Affairs. Minus 40, that must be, this must be that much lower than um, Land's End, that must be what that is. We are creeping down, we could have come down a bit faster than this, again that would be something you can change, but you know, slow and steady wins the race. What happens if we go to tower view for me? I can't remember which one tower view is. That's that one. Does it go to the nearest tower? It does go to the nearest tower. Excellent. We'll watch from the tower. Oh, I'm slightly off. Well, that's that's okay. We could correct that by yeah. Look, you see where I've put the the waypoint. Boom. And there we are. Main loop slow, 70 hertz. Yeah, so pre on my, yeah. Look, my computer's not the best, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to St. Mary's. Um, I can't remember which way they turn, they uh, serve the cream and scones in Cornwall. How exciting. How, how easy was that? Um, is that the future of flight? Just one click and away we go for air taxi operations? I think it probably is. And that's sort of how it's going to look like. And whoever is driving it for the first few years will just be monitoring everything and finding out what he or she can do. You know, they have to write a crossword or something as you go. So there we are. If you want to do this, you need to buy yourself a copy of X-Plane 12. 11 will work as well. If you've got 11 or 12, then head off to the uh, RG Pilot uh, um, website or um, pages, uh, forums, and you're looking for software in the loop, and you'll be able to do. You connect it up and do all this for free. We have a show talking about this sort of thing and other drone stuff every uh, Tuesday at 2100 GMT. Maybe we'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.